and welcome to another episode of Just Us Dads. Thank you all for tuning in to yet another Dadversation. Thank you for coming on. Oh, he's been saying the same thing for fucking a year now. So, he keeps yeah. saying that. Switch it, switch it. Yeah, we should find another way to start the episodes. We'll, we'll think about that. We'll think about that. Uh, in the meantime, if this is your first time, head on over to YouTube, like and subscribe. First time, maybe it'll be the last time you hear that intro. <laughs> and uh, follow us as well and subscribe on all the audio platforms. That was Chris and George both here today smash uh, the like button smash the like button so yes yeah, <laughs> like like the when you used to play nintendo and yeah no, and no, then, you guys you know what the trick was yeah me and me and angelo yes oh, the, you don't tap you we rub used to, we used to do that with a battery and then because you slide it, it's even faster yeah and then so we we had that and then you're like ah i can't get it faster and then you go over another kid's house and he has that super joystick like the do you remember that the the, the the turbo that you can click the turbo button you just press it oh, that's, uh, there was there was a um, i was too old for that you guys were younger no there, there was a there was a cassette i think my cousin had with uh, the olympics there was a oh, actually no sorry there was like a 50 games or whatever and one of those 50 games was like the olympics or something you know mm. and uh so like the way it worked is that let's say for the high jump, you had to kind of run as fast as possible. And like, so you can make like the best score ever. And we had like our, our, our fingers were full of blisters, you know, like, what the hell? Yeah. So we're like, this is impossible, this game. But those games were made when the glove had to come out and those turbo joysticks had to come out. You know, it was it wasn't a little one. It was a big one. There was a heavy base. It had a like an old style joystick with a button. And all you had to do was this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there was a little switch, turbo on off, <laughs> like that. So we took. So I. Or I, you keep it pressed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. You press. You kept it pressed. So uh, we I took the game to this other kid who had that. Dude, we destroyed. <laughs> we destroyed all the records. It was it was incredible. So uh, you see, don't complain about Apple, man. Why? Because Nintendo was doing it back then. No, it wasn't. Well, they had, they were forcing you they, to get that if you they were forcing you anything. They were just telling you if you you could use our entertainment system. Mm -hmm. How crazy was that, man? The video games, honestly, it wasn't. It wasn't crazy. Today's crazy. Today's Back then, crazy. it was simple. My mom played. No, I I know that, but it was crazy. And my grandmother. The, it was crazy for the time, though. Like it was, it was. I guys, I remember like revolution. Guys, no joke. Yeah, it was, it was the cutest thing, man. My grandma played mother. Super Mario Bros. Was, was she doing yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, obviously she was doing that, but she was beating levels. That's yeah, really. And really? my mother was playing Wonder Boy. That's awesome. I would come back from school. She had the chair in front of the TV, and she would play <laughs> Wonder Boy. <laughs> Guys, it's it's one of those no, things. No, 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 no. Look, I, I remember when that when Nintendo first came out. My friend John was the first guy I knew that had it. We would go over his house. He lived in Saint Leonard, and I remember I have vivid images of us sitting in his little living room the parents talking and us trying to figure out mario brothers and then he all because it was a, oh, a cassette that came with mario brothers and duck hunt yeah, yeah. Mm, remember that one course. yeah too yeah um and we thought shit this is so hard like we would we would make a level we're like oh my god yeah we did it that was the like we thought it was difficult we're like oh my god this is so hard and to go back to what you're saying now you look at the games now and it's like but wait, hold on. You know why it was difficult? Because you got three lives and then you started over. Yeah. From the yeah. very beginning. There was Unless no you in the used middle. some secret code, right? Yeah. Well, even then, well, some games had that. Mario had a trick to get hundreds of lives, you know, with the duck theme. theme, theme yeah, 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 the yeah, turtle yeah, shell there. yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. you got three lives. And, and then which one was it? The Super Mario 3? Where you flew and then like yeah. you can fly ab above, you don't even see yourself. Like you go, you went over you the screen. A, you would get a, like a leaf and it would turn you to like. A that's raccoon. it. That's it. Yeah, and then you can fly a with a tail. You have to, you and have then to like, get and then I think it's at level three where there was like the secret passage. Like I think you went above the screen. You don't even see it. Warp zone. And then you end up in like level eight or something. Uh, yeah. I can't remember. They all had warp zones. No, well, not the first one. Like yeah, Mario course. one and two. They all had warp zones. You can you can make it to the final like the final world which was warp. wait the original Mario Brothers has a warp zone. Had warp zones, many. I didn't have a Nintendo man. I don't know. You had a Sega. I had Sega. Fucking weirdo. But they had, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was I was one of the odd kids. One of those kids. It's like what do you play Sega? What? So it's like that kid. Oh yeah, man, I love it. What do you have? Coleco Vision. <laughs> <laughs> like they sold two in Canada. No, but then Sega up the up the game. Remember when they came the out with Genesis. the Genesis? Sega was always more sophisticated. 
The graphics it was were more, always It nice. was more for the advanced gamers. No, no, the graphics were better. It was like more arcade so, style. More sophisticated, yeah. It was arcade style. Faster, more explosive. But the games were more interesting in Nintendo, I think. They were more, they were funner games. They were more fun, where yeah. Sega was a little more serious. Like, they had better marketing. Like, uh, you had to have a Nintendo because they were... Well, first of all, the whole Mario uh, Mario yeah, Brothers yeah, yeah. franchise. franchise. Yeah. Like, yeah. even today, I mean, yeah, yeah. how much my kid, money... My kids are obsessed with Mario. They've yeah, never, yeah, they yeah. never really played it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it was good. And then I'll, I'll play Nintendo at uh, Terry's house. Yeah. Next door. Yeah. Or my grandmother's house. <laughs> Whenever I go sleep <laughs> over, it, it was amazing. And because I, his uncle had and it. And you know what sucked? Who, my grandpa, who, who was my, 40 at that my time. My sleepovers yeah. at my grandparents were nothing like that. No, but my sleepover was me playing Nintendo Super Mario Brothers and my, my grandma was beating me. <laughs> because I would play it once. That was amazing. Once every two months and she would play it every day. So she she would go and a pedazo and she would pass the oh, guys. I'm not kidding. This is not a joke. I'm not joking. Yeah, I believe you, you, I believe hand you. over the remote to his grandma. Yeah. And she would and beat she the level. was amazing. That's amazing. Maybe you thought she was amazing, but in reality, she sucked. No, she was, well, she was better than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what amazing is for me. Better yeah. than me. Yeah. You know? And then well, for someone to, from that generation to be that good and not and be yeah. illiterate in the language that it's being and my mother in. was the champ at Wonder Boy, which was like kind of a Mario Brothers, but it was a little boy in like diapers or something. I don't. I have no idea what you're yeah, talking. I about. I remember the Wonder the, Boy. I remember the cover of the of the game. I don't. He remember goes on clouds and he throws hammers. And... Yes, yes, yes. I remember that. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. And then I remember. I remember one of my dad's friends came from Greece because he married a girl here, mm. and he would spend time with us. Mm. And at that time, my dad was making wine and sausages, and he was a hunter, and he would come and he yeah. would. And it was uh, not duck hunt. It was safari hunt. Yeah, valet of Stolli. What's that guy? Yeah, yeah, and it was like, man, he finished the game. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he took it seriously. It was like I, I remember, like we're like, like Papa, we're all sitting in the back drinking, and he was like, it was like we would watch him play it. Like my mom, my dad, <laughs> the entertainment. Like, yeah, I was yeah. watching him beat the. I was levels. watching him play. Yeah. No, and then the big revolution was Mario Kart. Like the, we 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 were in high or maybe I remember Mario Mario Kart I remember dude, I remember being super, like super no super but I remember being in, at his house like at eighteen going stupid on no, Mario no. Kart George you remember I, that I remember it's still fun, I remember clubbing I, I have it on my phone it's on, it's on my phone I don't know if you guys I know. remember clubbing coming back to my house and me and you playing Mario Brothers <laughs> after the club <laughs> after the club <laughs> Mario Kart sorry not Mario Brothers Mario Kart it was the it was the best yeah and then you know they like they they came up with a split screen remember like you yeah. play four players and it would split your yeah. screen. It was the funniest thing was ever. Fun. And you can you can fuck over your friends. And... Dude, I remember. I remember. Yeah, telling, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like at that at that, at that age, like we didn't, we didn't lie to our parents anymore. We would tell them, you know, we. we I still lie to my parents. I was drunk. <laughs> no, no. It's like my father's like, "Where were you?" I'm like, "I was at Chris's house." No, why? I was playing video games, and he's like, "What?" He's like, he must be lying. Were <laughs> something. No, I was like okay. Check his blood for cocaine. <laughs> like if he would lie, he would come up with something better than that. So he, they knew, they knew ah. it was true. And then how many times did we stay up so late that your father would wake up to go to work, come down the basement and see us playing? Yeah. Dude, at 5 in the morning, 5.30, he's like, what are you guys doing here? Pesan all the Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Just, you know, waving his head like, where did I go wrong? Did your dad ever play? My father played Duck Hunt. That was his thing. Look at because of the hunting thing. Yeah, no, my dad. With a gun. My father put on Mario once. No, no, no. They couldn't coordinate. Yeah. Guys, that's what I'm telling you. Like, two buttons. Two buttons and a in a in a in a cross, yeah. and they couldn't get it. We couldn't get it. And now there's like twenty buttons. No, like that. fucking every finger is touching a button. Today's kids, it's like yeah, there's like fourteen buttons. There's a pedal. There's three screens. <laughs> <laughs> they're talking. They're and communicating. They're getting directed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Forget about that. They have a keyboard. It's an entire keyboard. They're put. They're putting in commands. You put the <laughs> they're fucking programming while they're playing. <laughs> My son tried to explain a game to me how to play it and i quit before i tried the game wow. and this is like street fighter <laughs> and it was like i could i couldn't do it it's like what by the time I, like you got to the uh, how do you kick again what yeah. is it yeah oh man forget it not for me there's always a trick I, yeah. just press everything and you figure it, and eventually you figure it out no no but i would do that and beat him yeah it's, it's called the button masher no, but you know yeah uh, this is what i always did because you know there's all these different fighting games and i only knew one move at Street Fighter, you know, the one where like the Hadouken. Hadouken, that move, I would do the same thing, whether it was Mortal Kombat, oh. whether it was Street Fighter, any <laughs> fighting game, that was my move. That's the only thing I knew how to do. <laughs> and there was always something in all these games. That move was the same. It yeah. yeah, it did something in every game. <laughs> yeah. Hadouken. Oh, man, those were, 
you know what? I, I go through phases like the other day. And I was telling you, remember when I saw this ad pop up um, on my Instagram, I think with this USB st- or an, an HDMI stick or some whatever. With all the games. It, do, do, bro, you stick it to your, to your TV and it comes with like wireless remotes and it has like hundreds of it's old games. It's an emulator. Yeah, I got it. Like hundreds, like whether it was Nintendo, say, like every, yeah. like Sega, it has them like it was like three hundred games or something. Yeah, like that. It's eight bit technology, so you could process that no problem. Exactly, yeah. but uh, I I suggest if you want to save your marriage. Yeah, but that's what I was gonna get. To you that. don't do that. No, no, but I was gonna because I saw that. I think about a romantic comedy. <laughs> Because I'm looking at that and almost instantly I go to my wife, babe, I think I'm going to get it. It was 45 bucks. It was like 49 something. I want that. Yeah. I was like 49 bucks. I'm I'm guaranteed I'm taking it. And I go to my wife, babe, I think I'm going to buy it. She's like, no, you're not. I'm like, okay. (laughs) Okay. Because I go through stupid, uh, you know, waves. Like, I don't, I don't, like, I I don't, like, I'm not going to start playing. And two years later, you're still going to see me playing. But I'm gonna take like maybe one week. But that one week, I'm gonna go disgusting on it. Like I'll sleep like half an hour. That, that's what I did two and a half years ago with Angelo. Wow. Two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. Look what we did. <laughs> this is where he, Thirty-seven and a half he, years he, old, he, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. He calls me up. Actually, he text messaged me like like uh, snapshots of old Sega uh, games we used to play together. Yeah. So I was like, "Do you miss it?" I'm like, "Yeah, a little bit." Because do you still have it? I'm like, "Yeah, I think I have it somewhere." So what I did is I went downstairs. I found it. I found everything, the adapter, everything. I know which closet it was. Yeah. I'm, I, I've never seen it. I know. It's the one under the stairs. Under the stairs. The, under one, the, stairs. With, the one with, with a little, little, the little baul from the vacuum. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah where, where my Nintendo is in the game. So yeah. it's probably, your Nintendo's probably there. <laughs> so we hooked it up and we played and we had a blast. Yeah. We man. played every game, like 100%. Double Dragon, okay. Black Belt. And then I got my kid into it. I'm like, this is, this is, this, this is, is the shit. This is dad's this Double is Dragon it. was one of the games that was on both consoles. Yeah. Yeah. It was better on Sega. It was much better. But it was really good. It was, yeah, whatever was on arcade pretty much came on Sega. And uh, yeah, so he, he got into it. I left it for a little bit, a couple of days. And then it's like, yeah. you know, you know what you yeah. said it before? The lives, mm. right? He couldn't, it's like, he couldn't process yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, like, why do I, why do yeah, I have to lose? The games today, it's like ongoing. It's yeah. forever. Yeah. You can't pause the game. You could wait. No, but you lose. No, don't you die in these you games? Lose, no, but you, you save you your progress again, you save and you start pro- again. Yeah. And when you, when you don't make it to a check, a checkpoint is like, that's, that's, that's your. No, so, so what happens if you die? Like someone shoots you and you die in the game. Well, you die, but it's you, not game over. You, you revive on that same spot. First of all, it's not the same setting. It's not the same process. Like no. you might start the game and you're somewhere else. The way you're talking about it, you obviously know nothing. No, 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 but you know, yeah. like in Sega, example, black belt, right? Mm. There's it's a karate game. Mm. Now think 2D. Mm. You're not in 3D. No, exactly. So every time you play that tape, it's the exact same sequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can even count it. You could memorize the game. Yeah. It's like here, I'm gonna drop here. Two people are coming. Okay, this yeah. is coming now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. exactly. Yeah. Today's games aren't like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not a sequence. It's right. role playing. It could change. It could start from. You it's know what I mean? Th- you have to think of a 3D map. Yeah, no, I've seen, I've seen it, I've yeah. seen how the game. And actually, are. it's like the, the, the person, it's, it's the background that moves, right? Yeah. In those times. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Now it's you walking through. That's right, right, right. So that's what really got my kid. Like, wow, you know, that, that's interesting. That's what the, that's what he, that's what he thought was like impressive. The fact that you have lives and well, you got lives and like, like you really gotta get good before yeah. you make it anywhere. Like yeah. I remember, we used to lose our shit. No, fourth world, no. <laughs> Start over. Why'd you touch me? <laughs> or the your worst. mom shouldn't have asked you if you're hungry. <laughs> or the worst. The worst was when the Nintendo gets a little old and someone walks in front it's and then good. it freezes. Yeah, yeah. It just re- it pixelates. Yeah. <laughs> it pixelates. You're like, or, or you press start and just it just it starts and blanks. <laughs> the tape skips. And, and, and you know what? A, a major difference between Sega and Nintendo because uh, Terry had it. He would have to blow on all the tapes. Yeah. Sega never. There was no problem. I never had to do that. The tape, no. click, prowl. So many on, tricks. There was, was the blowing. It. I know a guy who would put the, the, would t- take the a paper. Q-tip, a Q-tip with, oh, uh, with, uh, with rubbing alcohol. Yeah, yeah. No, no, but, then, but then to get it at the right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Somebody yeah. Had, like like left, left, right, left, right. Left, Not only right, that, you like uh, uh, ours was like destroyed. It was beaten up because it was hand me down for my cousins. <laughs> like I got. I so you got it when you were 13. I got a Nintendo. When Super Nintendo came out, because that's when my cousins got the Super Nintendo, so they gave us their Nintendo. So it was so bad at that point where we had to kind of fold paper and kind of jam it in so, so it can be at the perfect screen. position. Yeah. Like we had all the tricks. To me, that was nonsense. Like it would take like 15 minutes for a setup. <laughs> Sega was a top loader. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. It was just, you put the, the I never had a problem. So it, it always falls in the right place. That's right. Right. And I remember Terry's like, 
wait. He's going like this. He's putting it. Not only that, bro, because he, the he Nintendo had that spring thing. Like, you have to yeah, put yeah, it and yeah. push it down. And if those springs, bro, like, it's finished. I, no, I know. Whereas Sega. I, I don't know anybody who broke the spring. I don't remember. Them. No, guys, once my dad grabbed it. <laughs> it was based on your behavior. Though. Of course, for sure. Yeah. I, you don't understand. Were any of you bleeding? No, 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 no. The, 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 the. I mean, before he got mad. No, no, no. Okay. This, dude, the, the force that that Nintendo hit the floor, <laughs> pieces flew away. Pe- like, and then he left. And you found a trick to make it work. Of course. <laughs> but they were, that's the thing. We unscrewed it. Using elastic. Something. No, no, we unscrewed it. it. The whole thing, two corners broke off, like the plastic, the casing shell, broke yeah. off, but yeah. you don't care. So those broke off. And then one little spring in that little thing that you push down came off. So we're like, ah, shit. The, the, we, I'm like, oh, I broke, you know. But then we opened it up and we, the, we found the spring inside. So we just replaced it yeah. and it worked perfectly. It worked perfectly. <laughs> My dad would be the type of guy to break and then fix it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I've told you the story with John's dad, right? Yeah. With the uh, with, uh, with the, the Atari on the yeah. tree up north. Yeah, I heard about that. On the tree. It, it, guys, it disintegrated. Look at it. It disintegrated. <laughs> no Greek guy's anger. Raw. But it's not that. The funny thing in that story is that not only, like, he was probably thinking, I'm going to throw it out the window, but it hit the tree. Like, the precision of the throw, <laughs> the preci- like, and it exploded on the tree. Like, it went, like, a million pieces, dude. <laughs> oh, man, they knew it, man. You know what? Now it's like it costs too much money to do that. Yeah. You know? Like, there's gamers that have setups that are, like, 10 grand. Yeah. It's like it's 10 grand worth of equipment for, for their entertainment. No, there's gamer seats the where you chairs. get everything out of the game. Yeah, 1500 yeah. bucks. And it's like speakers on a chair and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy stuff. Well, considering the fact that some gamers actually make money out of this. Yeah, no. Yeah, okay. Go no, fast, man. The, the gamers make money. The gamers are on YouTube. Your kids watch are watching the, them. And that's what they want. Right. So it's like, that's what the one I want with the lights. And then you go to the store and it's like seven grand. You're like, what? <laughs> what? Seven grand? What? You know, something like, see, again, I don't know. And I, I don't want to, I don't want to be sexist or anything, but something tells me that I'm lucky that I have girls because they probably won't. No, no. You're going to spend girls, it on clothes. Bro. No, but girls, girls are doing it too. <laughs> That's more, what I'm saying. Girls are gamers. Yeah, but I don't know if mine are going to get to Maybe who? I don't know, man. Let, let me not. Let me, they, let me, let, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, but more and more girls. Let me, let me not assume. Yeah, there, there, there are girls. And there's like a lot of like, it's couples now, you know? The, the the boyfriend and the girlfriend yeah. sitting there playing great life wow. great life wow. but if you think about it man it's like if it's not that how many couples are just sitting at home not even talking to themselves and just going through their phone looking through all those you know all through social media like how much different is that from gaming yeah well yeah like there's no interaction there's no there's yeah. nothing there's no social life there in any case yeah that is a problem man. that is a problem I, I I've uh, I've I've set some rules in the house. None of that. Like what? Like playing on the phone kind of thing. Well, you come no, home, you leave your no, phone, no, no. and that's you it. You can play on the phone. There's time for it, but scheduled. There's between this time and this time is family time. We right. can play a game. We can watch something. We can talk, but nobody's just all together doing their own thing. Right. There's time for that, but you know what? If you don't schedule it in, that's it's super not, important. It's not happening. Like I mean, we're we're. I mean, we don't have to think about that because the girls come and all they want to do is just play. So for us, it's natural, right? I mean, now it's just, okay, come on, we'll do the, the dollhouse, then we're going to draw, then we're going to do the piano. Like, we're always doing something together. Mm. I don't know how things are going to change when they get older. They're probably just going to run to the rooms and <laughs> they're going to well, spend, I don't, I don't there know. There is some of that, but you want to control it. You don't want it to be all the time. Yeah. It can be people coming home and going into their little corners and living their own lives alone. I don't think control is the right word. I think you what you want is to take the responsibility of maintaining it. Yeah, that's what it is. Making, but you got to maintain it with the rule, you know. Yeah, yeah. So you sort of schedule it in there as a as a as a must because you're, you're and it becomes a pattern that they. That's that, right. It just follows because your your thirteen year old teenage son is not going to come and say, "Oh man, I want to spend some time with you. What can we do?" No, it's like it's like it's scheduled the uh, yeah. family time. You got to so. schedule it, and that's what you know. And that's what being around the dinner table was. There was an excuse for that. That's why it lasted long. We spoke about pray, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. we've spoken about that, man. It's like I, I you have guys, a. You guys don't need to go there. Uh, it's a, it's a it's a battle all the more, time. It's more more and more more and more now we do. Yeah, and I love it. Yeah. And it's a new thing. And I because I look I I'm the busy one, and I used to always try and get work done, or at least the extra work or the business or the investments after work. So I I would work five to like seven eight. 
And that's so, usually dinner so time. I, yeah. Or we'd be eating or I'd be on the table on the computer and I'd kind of be there. You're almost not there. Yeah, but I'm not there. Yeah. So I stop that. I wake up two hours earlier not to do that. So it, it helps. It helped, man. Yeah. You, you know, you, you don't you don't want people doing different things. You got to be there. It doesn't work. You got to be like not physically there, like mentally. You got to you got to be there. Both. Both. And it's this thing. It's like, uh, you know what? Uh, the quality versus quantity thing. It's like, you know, a lot of people are saying, and this is coming from friends of mine or people that are very, very busy. It's like, yeah, you know, I don't give them quantity. But when I'm there, it's quality. They need both. Yeah. You need the need, quality. They need to indulge. To enjoy and they need quantity. They need to know that it's like, man, I spent a lot of time with my my dad. I remember on Saturday, this is funny you brought this up. Because every Saturday, like, well, it's the only lunch we eat together, pretty much. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, why do you make us sit here every Saturday? Because like, I'm like, we eat together every night for dinner. We never have lunch together. Mm-hmm. Shut up and sit down and fucking yeah, eat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and it's important. Yeah, you, Like... I had to make it a conscious decision. I had to schedule it in order for it to happen. And now that it happens, we all see the benefits of it. You can't go back. You know? And it's like, you know what? You do it. You do it. Because uh, I know, was the it, same way. It's like, uh, yeah, I'm here. Like, I'm on the table. They're on the couch. Uh, somebody's watching TV. And it's like, yeah, we're all together. But we're not all together. Yeah. Because we're all together, but I don't know anything. Yeah. yeah or cause, or cause I'm they, not involved. The conversation continues there. And you're like, you, you yeah. sure you get caught up on what's going on. You know? So now it's scheduled time. Like, if you see my phone, like, I'll show you. It's, like, family time. And then if it's activities or experiences, it's together. Like, I'm not saying I was, I'm not an absent dad or I wasn't an absent dad. No, it's but just, look, I'm making it better. I'm getting. You're I'm, preoccupied. Well, he's not preoccupation. He's, he's, he's busy. Yeah. yeah, he's busy. It's but different. It yeah. won't be the excuse. Yeah. He's not, the, you, know? The, you know. Yeah. You, you have to plan it that way because you're busy. Yeah. Which, you know, good for you. You're, you're being responsible about what about those people that are not busy and still don't oh, take the effort that's different yeah that's like, different yeah. people tell me oh we never eat on the table we just you know one person eats there one person eats there i'll eat on the couch we eat dinner at couch all the time like, why i don't know yeah that's, but they that's... complain that they don't have dinner together i'm like well what are you doing to to, to make it happen there's not there's no effort yeah, yeah you gotta make the effort man it's like jim Rohn says it's like uh, hurting ch- uh controlling children is like hurting cats <laughs> everybody wants to go their own direction do their own thing like if you're not conscious about putting it together and it's a hard thing yeah. but i'm telling you once it's scheduled it, it's there yeah. and then you know what then yeah you give them they need their space like people need their space and alone time is good time of course alone time is a good time reflection there's also that right you know what i want to talk to you guys about um <laughs> last episode i told you guys like how competitive emma is and she always wants to do things and like you know and i don't think it's a bad thing i thought you were gonna talk about how you never fucking shave yeah i'm so lazy guys honestly (laughs) look man we're we're gonna divert a little bit but it's interesting that you brought this up i spent (laughs) over i spent over 11 years having to look fucking perfect shave dress suit tie all that bullshit to the point where now I don't care, man. I don't have like I don't I don't care. Phrase about it. You're allowed not to care. Yeah, like I work for myself. I'm the boss, and I can fucking dress and look whatever, whatever way I want to. You know what I mean? I wasn't judging. I was just curious. Yeah, yeah. and I'm just lazy, guys. It's not. It's not because I want a beard. The reason why before I I shave here, here, like that. Yeah, the reason why I shaved down here and up here, it's not because I want a beard. You don't want to rush. It's because no, no, it's laziness. So I want you to think. That, oh, yeah, I'm leaving a beard, but in reality, I'm just shaving here so it won't look stupid. It won't look messy. <laughs> is that bad? It's no, bad. No, it's it's, bad. This, is what, this is what everybody it's already just bad, doing, man. Yeah. Like, people I'll shave. People like, don't I'll, shave anymore. like, I'll shave once a yeah. month. I don't, I, yeah, me too. I, I'll people trim, I'll shave. fix it. Sometimes I'll fix it. Now, now it's messy, but no, but I, I'll fix I, it I, if I have to. And then you have Jimmy who <laughs> clean shave it, head and face every time. Yeah. He has to shave every day. Every day, head and face. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I work with people like that. I know people. Like I didn't mind. I, look, I enjoy shaving. I, I, I like I that clean like shave, it. but now it's like, I don't have to do it. I don't man. enjoy like, the responsibility. I don't have to do it. Yeah. Like, I don't have to do it. Like, I don't have to impress anyone. Like, I, I, I really don't care. Anyway, going back to the other topic uh, that I want to talk to you guys about. Sorry. To uh, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, about how my daughter is competitive. And I want to ask you guys, because obviously you, you have older kids. Uh, at the beginning of the school year, like we always go pick her up, right, from school. Uh, sometimes well, she's not taking the bus. No, <laughs> <laughs> she's she's the bike by herself. 
sometimes we would go she would bike you know we would follow her and you know we sometimes would bring the bike for her to come back with the bike like we did all these things you know that would make it fun for her right sometimes obviously we'd just pick her up with the car and come back other times we would walk back so you know in the first weeks of school she would notice that there's some kids walking by themselves you know but there's one kid that i think it's in her or in another class in, uh, in grade one but he was always accompanied by his older sister so they was like one or two years older so they would always walk together and uh, she would keep asking, like, well, where, are their, where are those kids' parents? You know, how come they're walking alone? So we had to explain, look, I mean, you know, he's accompanied by the older sister. Like, eventually, maybe you'll be doing that with Eliana, you know, and she goes, she's like, oh, okay, yeah, but you think maybe at some point I can just walk by myself and come home? Yeah. So we're like, sure, yeah. Yes. You know, so we're like, no, no, we're like, yeah, eventually. Like, I mean, when you're a bit older, you know, there's no problem, of course. You know, you know the road. There's no problem. And, and she stuck at it, bro. She had to do it. She had to go by herself. And my wife, and you know, look, I, I good for her because I was kind of like, uh, what the fuck is she talking about? No, we're picking her up. And we're like, How so, far is it? Like a kilometer. It's not far. It's, but you go through the park. Like uh, most of the walk is through so the park. No cars or yeah. Like she's going to cross one big street. Like the, you leave the school. It's very residential. And then you cross one big street. And then again, it's a little residential. And you go through the park. You cross and you come to, to, to the house. Mm. Um, and thank God my wife was like, ah, oh, it's okay, whatever, man. You know, I'll let her walk. You know, I'll follow her from behind. You know, it's, it's not a problem. And she did it once. And then again, the second time, she's like, ah, oh, I'm going by myself. And now I was it's like, I'm going to Colombia. <laughs> like, I'll see you at the airport. <laughs> so then, uh, and then at some point we go with a car and she got mad. She's like, oh, what a walk. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, all this to say. That's cute. It's fine. She did it perfectly. You know, like it, it was cute. You know, seriously. And, and then at some point, my because my wife was following her with, uh, she had a little one in the, she was a little one. There's no way she's gonna walk that long. She's she's like the complete opposite. She's like, get get the stroller, get the stroller to go to the park. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? You're gonna walk anyway. So at some point, she she had she would turn around, and tell me like yell at her. She's like, stop coming, stop. You're walking too fast. Move back. Leave she me. She man. wanted she wanted to do it on her own. And it's fine. We let her because she has that competitive thing, right? And then I'm sorry. And then we start talking with my wife. It's like, like, okay, definitely we know people that have kids that are that age that would never even consider doing that. So already we're, you know, a little bit different, a little, a little bit ahead. I think it's a good thing. Let her do it. It's fine. You know, she'll learn, you know. But then we start thinking, okay, like, okay, how old do you want to just say, look, have, have fun at school, bye, walk by yourself and come back by yourself. Like, how old do you give them a key to come home? Mm. You know, because she saw that the other key, like the, the kids had like a little, whatever, it's like a strap with a key. She's like, what is that? We're like, oh, well, they have a key to get in the home. It's like, why? They don't, you know, they don't have anyone at home. Like, where are their parents? And that's difficult because they don't understand the reality that, you know, we don't have the nine to five job where we're not home and you need a key to come in and that sort of thing. Right. Uh, and we're thinking like, okay, how old is old enough to be doing all these things or to be staying alone at home? Can you leave them alone? Illegally, no. I don't think it's illegal. It is. It is? Yeah. There's no, a law? Nothing before 11. No really? way. Yeah. You sure about that? I'm There's a law? Sure, I'm pretty sure. I think it's a, I think it's a guideline. Yeah. Check it out. No, no, <laughs> check no. it out. But I'm not sure, but I, I think in Quebec, there's no law. I'm, look, I, I, I'm pretty I, sure I'm, there is. I, I, I'm the kind of person that I'm pretty sure there is. we've been raised to kind of get the no first. No, what are you doing? No, 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 no. And then slowly adapt. My wife is the opposite. My wife is do it, and then we'll like if it's bad, we'll you know we'll, we'll deal with it. She like we're completely different mentalities. So I remember once, so we went to the depanner, we had to buy something, and my wife she's like, should we leave them alone? I'm like what are you talking about? So she's like, listen, we'll put we'll we'll FaceTime, we'll leave one phone here, and it'll be fun for the girls. We'll leave the phone there, and we'll be talking to us. Let's just do it for fun. See, yeah. we did it. It was like whatever, three minutes away by car. So we, it was fun. They were talking, ah, mama, I can see you. Okay, hi, we're coming. You know, mm -hmm. It was more like a fun thing. But how old is old enough to give them a key to come home by themselves, stay by themselves, go to school by themselves? Mm -hmm. Well, for me, it was seven. At seven years old, you had a key. Yeah. Maybe even six. What are you talking about today? I'm not lying to you. At six years old, you had a key to come into the house. My house is right across the street from the school. Yeah, okay. Okay. Mm. 
I'm, I don't think it's an age thing. <clears throat> I don't it's think it's a maturity a thing. Yeah, it's a responsibility. Thing. Okay, so how and it, and it depends well, on the kid. What's the threshold? Well, like, like what's the, all the stuff you said you did, I did. And um at that age, five, yeah, six, yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah. Asimov was going to to JPA, coming back with bread. Uh, at how old? M- young, 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 so young that other people thought I was crazy. So I, I agree with your wife. I think you do yeah, it. Yeah. We did the. FaceTime. I'm not saying this because I disagree. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah. saying because it's like it's cool. Uh, thankfully, we have the, at least. Emma, Eliana is a little bit more reserved, but she wants to do that. She wants to be there, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. even yeah. Look, you're right. It's like so it, it, it's it's on your threshold of comfort, I guess. Uh, I'm very comfortable. I like giving the kids a little independence, a little autonomy. Yeah, they need to learn. Uh, so I left them go places young. I let I let him ride his bike to practice young, and I left him home young. But but I had to make sure he's mature. And I tested him a couple of times. So like my, how, how old was he when you first let him stay home alone? Uh, maybe eight. And for how long was he alone? Not very long. Yeah. But uh, at 11, he's, he stayed like for, for a whole day almost. No way. Yeah, I would give him a phone. But your mom is downstairs. You have yeah, you yeah, have that different. yeah you there, have that safety net where at, at, at any point in time you're like, oh. uh, mom, go check. Is you okay? Kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was like, for me, it was simple, man. It was, that's why I'm saying there's no age. It depends, right? There's, there's 50 year old boys and there's 17 year old men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, so it yeah, depends. Yeah. Uh, but it was the rules. It was like, you can't answer the doorbell, whoever it is. I don't yeah. care who it is. Yeah. You don't answer the doorbell. Uh, if I call or anybody calls, you answer the phone. You're, you don't have a headset because I want them to hear noises. Right, right. What do you do if this happens? What do you do if this happens? Great. I tested him a couple of times, like I left and then I came back and wrong doorbell. He didn't answer. You know what I mean? So I tested yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. So you're ready. So you can stay. And it's not like you're going to stay for five hours, 45 minutes, a minute, uh, 10 minutes, one hour. Mm. And then you see that he, he's capable of doing it. Right. So you trust him, but it is different today. And I'll tell you why it's different today. And that's why it's like, if you do leave your kids alone right now, it's fine, but they can be on a video game they can't have their face and their attention into a video game with a headset yeah. they need to hear the environment yeah you know that's the problem that's what's okay, on an so age thing. Some, uh... so even if there's a legal age think about it let's say there is a legal age and it's 12 example uh you could be 14 and make the right the wrong decision yeah and something can happen and you don't you don't react to it properly so age doesn't mean anything right, right? i right, think it's, right, it's right. on a case per case and how you're comfortable a lot of parents are not comfortable i'm comfortable I'm comfortable with being uncomfortable with that. Yeah. What's the what's the what's the law? Did you find anything? So there's a few, three provinces that have uh, the minimum. And that's Ontario, 16. What? Wow, yeah, 16. And uh, the other two, Manitoba and New Brunswick, 12. The other one's none. So Nothing. Quebec doesn't have a law. So Quebec. So I, I've been lied to. No, I because I, I, Quebec, I was sure there wasn't a law, but I, I wasn't actually no. I Cause, thought I cause wasn't I, sure because I told people I, I did that because I trusted him. I left the phone my house line next to him. Mm-hmm. I went for a walk in the neighborhood. Something wrong? Come don't answer the door. Yeah, know? yeah, the rules. They're like, oh no, 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 no. no. But wait, Ontario sixteen? That's crazy. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That's people crazy. shave at sixteen, at fifteen. <laughs> so we shaved at fourteen. I shaved. I shaved <laughs> at twelve. Shaved nine. Chris was born with a beard. Um, <laughs> you see, that's why I'm saying it's not an age. It's not. It can't be an age. Can't be an age. Uh, it's a maturity. Thing. It's a maturity thing, and it depends. Like I said, I, I I tested everything. I'm trying to think how old we were when we were first left. We were alone. young. We were young, George. I think like seven. probably elementary school, grade five. I think I was when like I was eighteen grade months. Five. I had a key. When I was <laughs> eighteen months. <laughs> I'm when I was seven, <laughs> as soon as I found out how to change my own diaper, yeah, I was, I was <laughs> when I was seven, my, my sisters were, one was just starting high school. One was already a few years. So in. yeah. Okay. So I'd get home. My dad would leave 15 minutes later. My mom would get like home like an hour later, but your sisters were there. No, they were in high school, different school. I lived across the street. I crossed home. I was home with minutes. Right. My yeah. dad would leave around three. My mom would come home around four. So I'm sure like that. So for about an hour, they would leave you. But that was at seven. That's fine, man. That's but fine. I, in the evenings, it would go hours. Like my mom would go to the neighbor's house, have a coffee, whatever. Nothing wrong with that. I'd be watching Unsolved Mystery, shitting my pants. <laughs> <laughs> that intro music. I find people that don't leave their kids now and overcoddled. Uh, it's it's yeah, not they, good. They drive 
grown teenagers to the fucking door of the high school. Yeah. No, no, I know. I, I know cases like that. Yeah. Well, it's a choice. I guess they're comfortable with that. I, I understand. Let's say the beginning of high school, your first year, you know, part of the first year, there's a point. It's like, here, get, get yourself there. Take this fucking yeah. bus, you know. Like staying alone. Like now I would leave Yanasum alone with his sister. No problem. You know, but there's still rules. Like you can't cook anything. See, we, I, I used you to You know cook. what I mean? I don't want you, you know, I, I used I, to you, cook. You're going to wait. Did you, you guys cook? No, I would make a toast. I'd have cereal. No, I used to cook. I used to fry eggs and boil hot dogs and make french fries. Yeah, no, that came later. No, oh, yeah, that came later. And but, I wouldn't I wouldn't allow them now to do that. It's like, no, wait, but you're wait se- two yourselves, hours. I'm saying yourselves. What do you mean? You didn't do that stuff yourself? When I was seven? No. Seven, eight? No, no, what? no way. Yeah. No way. Later. What are you talking about, man? Later. Dude, I understand. I love, I love, I've always loved food. I can't tell you. Bro, you were frying eggs at seven, eight. <laughs> I, I, I might have been early. I might have been early. <laughs> Come on. That's like, <laughs> why would I lie about No, this? I'm not saying you're lying. It's just, uh, that's too early for yeah, me. Yeah, it's crazy. I, mine came late. My mom couldn't cook fast enough. It was, it was a two person <laughs> job. I needed more food. She had a, she had a life too. <laughs> oh, man. But what's, what's scarier is the house for me is not a big issue. Like the park would worry me more. Like I had more problems with him taking his bike, going to uh, unsupervised area. Yeah, yeah, going to the park, which I eventually he did, and it's fine. But staying home for me was like, look, man, stay home. It's, it's yeah. where they're the day, like you said, FaceTime stuff like that. You can call. Look, the thing is, the rules at home you don't have to repeat them. They, they know, them. Yeah, and yeah. they know that when you come back, you're gonna catch him. He's gonna get screwed, yeah. right? Yeah, I agree with you though, because especially for Emma, because she's just friendly with everyone. Like she's gonna see random people, hello, and like wave at them. And it's like, okay, listen, man, you can't just talk to people, especially if they're nice, even if they're nice to you. If, especially you, if they're nice to you. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, you don't know them and they're nice to you. you will be but you way. see, that's what's messed up because you're teaching the kid that the world's a bad place and it's not, but it could be. It could be. And it's like to protect them from everything, you protect the good moments too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's the just wall like, that you put up yeah. is the wall that keeps you out of the, the good. Yeah, just yeah. worried and yeah. reserved. Oh, should I be nice? Is he nice? for the good reason or is he nice because he wants to trick me or yeah it's messed up but it's true man it's like you worry you're a fucking parent you know all these stories about kids being abducted by fucking psychopaths that are like come and see a doggy you you like doggy TV TV movies that we watch as kids about that stuff yeah but the the real danger because we spoke about the the house that's fine kids can stay home having their key that's fine again there's no age like 16 I think is exaggerated in Ontario a 12 is, is okay I guess but uh, and, well, but I think the, the brain really develops at 14, I think. But anyway, we, we could check that too. What the biggest threat is, is online. It's not home. Uh, it's not really yeah. the park. Yeah. It's the information and the shit yeah, that you're exposed yeah, yeah, to. Yeah, 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 that stuff, guys. So it's like, you know what? You can leave your kid at home. Don't worry. But what he's doing there, yeah. who he's communicating with, who's following him, who he's following, that, that, that's the bigger issue. And that's what you have no control over. Because if you leave your kid at home, it's the rules. No cooking. You don't answer the door. Mm. If this happens, you do this. If you hear that alarm, you run out. You take. You know, it's very simple. Yeah. It's five, yeah. six things, and it's yeah. like if this happens, you do that. It's automatic. It's yeah. instruction based. Yeah. But online, how do you? How it's do they use their, How do they use their judgment? Yeah. What kind of message is that? Should I give them my number? Who is it? he? Says he knows my mom. Does he? That's the threat. Man, I remember when I was a kid. I was home. I remember if I was with my dad, my mom. I was home with my dad. It was, it was a transition period. My mom had just gone back to work, and my mm. dad had me in the morning, so which meant my dad was asleep while I was watching TV mm. until he had to go to work. And I remember getting a call from this fucking weirdo, and he's like, uh, uh, "Is your mom home? Oh, okay. What, what do you, you see your mom wearing her? her what do you see your mom wearing her?" her her, her negligee at night does she do this like he's asking me to describe weird shit and i was oh, a stupid guy wow. i was completely naive i'm like yeah. no I, no i don't think so like i remember being and then i hung up the phone like holy shit that guy was fucking prying into my life man. Yeah, i remember yeah, being yeah. a little kid and feeling a little violated man. this guy had sinister intentions how did he, that wasn't <laughs> how did he randomly call me and ask me these questions was he just calling Prank for something call else he's Prank like hey this is a little kid you don't know man no but no. How did you well, prank I'm, I'm saying, land on me? I'm saying you, you don't know what the attention was. Yeah. So I always wondered, did he? Did it he, wasn't good though. I always wondered, did he target me from from outside, mm. or did he call for something else? Realize it's just a kid who has immigrant parents, so he's gonna take his chances and maybe fucking mm. beat himself off on some shitty information. I don't yeah. know what the fuck, but I, it always puzzled me that. 
I remember my, my, my dad saying. He's yeah. asking if you see my mom in her negligee. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you see your mom when she comes out of her shower? Shit like that. Yeah, that's a pervert. That's a pervert. <laughs> I remember my dad always saying, because obviously they left me home too. And uh, But I remember him saying, you don't open the door for no one. And his, his saying was, even if it's God. <laughs> and this is, you know, like, it was just like, just even, even if God himself appeared in front of you. Just was <laughs> yeah, just get, and I, what marked me, I remember this. It was, I was... I don't remember what age, but I was young. And my bedroom was closest to the door. Yeah. My parents' bedrooms was in the back. And it was a drunk person that was fidgeting, touching, the, trying to put a key on your door on the in door. the front. Yeah. And I woke yeah. up first. And then I'm like, what is that? So I look and I'm like, I don't recognize this guy. This, it looks like somebody's trying to break in. And my dad wakes up. He goes and gets a, a knife like this. <laughs> The <laughs> like, it's the kind of knife that crocodile dundee my dad would have been no this is a knife remember the scene remember the scene when he goes that's a knife yeah, yeah, yeah. my dad would have been no, no this is a knife it was like one of those that he had like, a sword. as a butcher so he's in his underwear his hair's like this and he's going to the, and, and i'm marking you i was like what the hell is that but you know what he was protecting his family he's like who is this guy who is this guy messing with my family you know? and that's when i got the picture of like okay man you know what He's right. There's cycles out there. Yeah, yeah there's exactly. cycles out there. You don't open the door because that happened, you know. And yeah. that was that was one of those moments where that it's was... like, oh, that solidified. That solidified the instructions. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I'll trust him. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But I remember that. That's and it was some just some. You some, had a visual some... representation of what yeah, he's been I saying. got it. It's like yeah. what he's been saying. Look, it's all there. it happened. It happened. And, it happen. and luckily he was there because yeah. I wouldn't know. I don't. I would have just wouldn't answer the door. Yeah, you don't know how far I could have gone. The guy breaking down the door and shit. Well, well, there you go. Uh, so yeah, I remember that. Park but but the, the knife was like this. <laughs> park X. Okay, Park X. I remember coming home. I was seven again, and my neighbor had just the apartment I just got and smashed into and robbed. And I was like, so I it wasn't my apartment. I felt so violated. Because right, it's in your building. It yeah. could have been yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It right. Could have been the other door. Yeah. And I fucked. Oh, we've in. seen things. Uh, even tennis uh breaking in and yeah, people, yeah. Uh, drunk people. This other, this little guy people stealing each other's bikes. One of our tenants broke in to try and 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 and, and rape. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, it was a oh, mess, wow. a mess, man. I think the things we've seen. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the screaming. Yeah, but you know what? The world today is not as bad. I think. Not as obvious. Well, it, well people are, uh, hide it better. People don't break in anymore. I feel. I feel like back in the day they would hide it more. It was like whatever happens home stays home. It's not you, hiding. What you're talking about is the petty thieves are less active. Yeah. Yeah, but you have home invasions. Bro. Yeah, you have different things, or you have like uh, identity theft, or you have yeah. like virtual. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All that kind of theft, shit. All that stuff. But I think in in a general, I, I read it somewhere. I'm not sure where and if it was for all of Canada, because I know in Montreal crime is actually going up a little, but everywhere else it's going down. But we're getting more exposed to it. Yeah. So it's crime is actually going down, but we see more of it now because it's, somebody's going to post it on post, Facebook. We get more informed. Uh, we're more so, informed. So, so we're more the scared. frequency of seeing these things is up, Paranoia but the up. actual crime is down. Right. Paranoia is up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but uh, yeah, like look, if you tell your kid uh, to follow the basic rules and he does, he's, he'll be okay. He'll be okay. Uh, you know, I, I, I honestly, I don't really worry that much about Emma. Like, um, she's like, it's just that you know, crossing that line and saying, Let her do it, let's go. Don't well, worry about when she's it, crossing know? the street, there's a, there's, a, there's a person there, right? Yeah, yeah, there's a cross guard, uh, yeah, so they're, they're exactly. I, I, I don't care. And on her way, there's gonna be other kids, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, see, yeah, I, yeah, I'm anal yeah. with that. I'm anal, know. like, it's like it's green, there's no, no, you still look. Before oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like because I, you see a lot of people, it's green and they're like walking, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, but yeah. the cross guard. Stands in the middle of the intersection. You never know. Yeah, yeah, but you never know. Yeah, 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 it's you know it's I mean? like you look left and right, whether it's green, yellow, whatever it is. I don't care. It's like you would look. Yeah. You're just inculcating the good habits. It's like, man, have, have the reflex. You're reflex. out in the world. Have the good reflex. Don't even That's think about it. it. Yeah, yeah. It. yeah. No, I like the fact that it's like, um, you, you know, we're not we're not that, you know, I don't know. Uh, what do you call them? Helicopter parents, whatever it is. There's helicopter parenting and there's yeah. bulldozer parenting. It's like, just let them be, man. You know, you know the difference is one is a tank. I don't know. One is like a helicopter. Always watching always what's watching. happening. Hovering around, right? The other one's always defending. And the other one is just like, Whoa, I'm going to remove every I'm obstacle in front of my yeah. kid. Whoa, I'm going to move everything. You know, make everything happen. You, know, for 20, you have a 20 year old can open a can of fucking Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> I broke my nail. How do you do this? <laughs> 
No, but it, it, it is a problem today. It's man. like kid who took cash. You know, we we, we want to help our kids so much that we're actually causing them harm. You we're know, to be fucking useless. You know what I had seen once online? It was it was on Facebook, and it was one of those uh, experiments where, and I'm sure you've seen them. It's like they take uh, like eight year olds and they make them hear our generation's music. Like they have like Guns N' Roses and like they see the reaction kind of thing. Oh, yeah. And then there was this other one with older kids, like, you know, uh, 13, 14, 15 year olds. And they tried to make them do things that we obviously knew how to do because our parents would do them all the time. We saw them, you know, and maybe we even did them ourselves. And they tried to see if they were able to do them like, to figure it out. What like, is this? What is like it called? Stitching I, I don't know what it was called. Like, um, like a rotary phone. Oh. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. They would give him like a like a walk uh, like a Walkman with a tape, and they're like, "Here, figure it out. What is it? You know what? What is this? <laughs> you uh, know?" And yeah. they're like, what is this? "Like, I don't understand." You know? Uh, and then another one was uh, a can of paint and, and uh, a screwdriver. Open it, and they're trying like to to oh, to like break it, it, like to like, puncture yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know? And they, they can't. They don't it's understand. Like you know? Because the parents are doing it. And now like the the, the can opener thing, they would give a a, a can. With uh, the thing, with the, the old style openers, not like the, you know, now they have like the, the magnetic yeah, ones. If, if, if you inverse the roles, you'll get the same problems. Yeah. Like you give the old folk fucking technology. Yeah. It's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah. But that's just to see like, you know, at their age, it's like how many you give kinds your, of give paint. Give your dad a USB stick and tell him here. Go for it. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. But that's not the point. The point is the stuff that you grew up knowing, like almost instinctively, like yeah. opening a can of paint, dude, like. There, there's people that are like, whatever, I don't want to generalize, but let's say, let's pick over 55 that cannot make a phone call with an iPhone. Over what, sorry? 55? Over 55. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you present them with a phone and you say call and you yeah. don't put a passcode. For, I'm not talking about passcode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, just saying, answer. I'm saying figure it out. They won't be able to make a phone yeah, call. Yeah, you're, you're right. It's a phone. You're right, you're right. So, it, it's a good point of view, but I think it's... You kind of expect them because they don't know yeah, the technology, yeah. right? Well, but I th- but really same thing, yeah, yeah. It's just that you know the rotary phone thing. I was laughing. It was like, here, make a call, and they just didn't know how to do George, it. Don't forget, we used to run to a a a, a, a stagnant place, right? Uh, it was a permanent place for the phone. <laughs> yeah, the, of course. The, the phone, the phone didn't it's move. Fucking hundred wires. There was there was a a place reserved, allocated <laughs> notepad and a pen yeah, for yeah. the phone. A little table. Like, we ran to that place. Yeah, yeah. there was three designated the, areas. Yeah, one yeah. on the under the under the corner table in the living room with a lamp. <laughs> one in the kitchen and maybe one in the hall. Uh, Rick, you know now, a kid. Try to explain to them that he had to go somewhere. Or that the phone was like linked somewhere. It was there was a wire to it. Should I explain to them that you tell people a time and you were just expected to be there at that time. Period. <laughs> there was no there was no warning about the delays. Yeah, you just yeah, you yeah, just yeah. made it for the time that you said. A <laughs> uh, different world, man. So crazy. It's yeah, funny yeah. though. It's it funny. is funny. Like seeing them. Like I'll, yeah, I'll try we'll, and find we'll, the video. We'll go a step further. None of us know how to farm. No. Yeah. We're gonna starve. Yeah. If we ever turn dystopian, we're fucked. Yeah. No, but I think no, we, we said it. No. I wouldn't be able to kill a chicken to eat. Yeah, we don't know. Like, where, no, where's I you? could. No, I wouldn't be able to take. Well, you could grab its head and spin it, it until yeah. it comes out. Yeah, no, no, no. You you know what to do. I, I, I just yeah, I, I, kill I don't a cow. Have the... Kill a cow. Not, not gut it in a way that you're not going to contaminate the meat because of the way you cut it. You get the urine and the, and the yeah, pieces yeah, 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 and everything. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And it becomes completely unedible. Yeah. You know, there's so many That's things what we're like desensitized that. with. Animals. We don't know how to bleed the animal when we kill it. Because when know? we get the animal, it's not an animal; it's a piece. It's a piece. Yeah, yeah. Package. We're not even sure w- w- how he cut it. What's the angle? Why yeah. did he choose? Why this? is it cut like that? Just yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> it's not embarrassing. Yeah, because we eat every day. Our yeah. grandfathers don't need to play video games. <laughs> yeah, uh, but that's a whole other like like we're talking about. A- that's a fundamental we've lost. I don't farm. I don't do any yeah, growing of vegetables George, in my backyard. Yeah, but George, my dad did my whole life. I understand yeah, that, but it's not like you, you, it's not as if that time everyone was farming. It was a profession. You had a farmer. A lot of people did it. Everybody but, knew how. Everybody knew they? how to take a tomato that's in front of them, and I'm gonna keep this for seeds so I could plant and make you know to sprout some little vegetables yeah. for the next season. Yeah, they all knew how to do that if they had to. Yeah. Mm. Do you know how to sprout seeds from a tomato that's just sitting on your counter? No, of course not. Of course not. Yeah, yeah. you didn't have to. You never had to. No, you went to the store and you bought the seeds just to act cool, or you bought the pre-made plant just to accelerate. And I'm so grateful that my my parents do that. And at least for three months out of the year, I eat out of the garden. 
because I wouldn't be able to do it. But I'm glad somebody else is doing it for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they know, and and, and and you know, you know what, you know what's, you know what's the worst part? When they talk about it, I get bored. Yeah. Just give me the tomato. But for them, like it's it. the most exciting thing, but bro, the, because it's the because it's the process. Yeah, man. And they res, they respect the process, they and it's all about the, and it's all about okay, what instinct? Uh, what sorry? What insect? The reward is the result, and you're proud of the result. Yeah, the and the, yeah, and, and I'm just spoiled, and it's like, give me the tomato. It's like it's like you said this I need story. To make a salad you now. said the story last week. I nodded. I agreed. You know, yeah, don't yeah, repeat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not only that we don't know how to grow our own food it's like we're, we're also spoiled with it we don't even care to them i have a yeah. feeling that with all this wokeism and all this shit like so at some point maybe we'll go back to that there is people mm. that have started yeah. this there's a movement i'm like i mean i work with some people that are younger than me and they're they're they're, they're, they're really trying to like those anti-establishment anti-capitalist oh, be careful with, the, with like, wokeism the wokeism is uh yeah no but you know if, what i'm saying if, it's like if you're too woke you're asleep it's like bro i'm not gonna go to your super capitalist establishment and buy your tomatoes i'm gonna make my own yeah <laughs> But he had capitalism come up with the equipment for him to do that. Yeah. 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 Like he had to look at YouTube to see how, yeah. how to do it <laughs> on his iPhone. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you iPhone. have to be careful because woke. Yeah. Well, there, there, there is. Starbucks. Okay. Regardless, regardless. Yeah. I'm just saying that is there a possibility that, you know, like there's this group of our population that just goes back to that. Forget yeah. about how they got there. I okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They had to use whatever it means to with get there. Better but- equipment, better technology. That's going to be less impactful on the planet in the bad way. So they're going to be they're going to be growing it better, more yeah. more socially conscious, yeah. environmentally conscious. Yeah. But I, there's a possibility of going back there. There's a lot of people that's saying that we should stop eating meat because it, we're going to destroy the planet. Why are we going to destroy the planet? If we well, stop because the amount of methane gas produced by the, the methane gas, the amount of water, water, the amount of energy needed the for all of, these animals, the amount of land that you need to to produce the food for the animals to eat. If you're taking away trees to have hay, but say. it's like hay it, doesn't oxygenize the air the way the, the trees do. You know? But ever since the beginning of humanity, man, it's like you solve a problem, you create another one. Yeah. You solve the, the meat problem, then veganism comes and that's going to produce another problem. Yeah. Then you're going to solve that. And some, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's why wokeism sucks because wokeism wants you to think that every problem is easy and easily solvable. Yeah. They think it's just selfishness. And it's not, yeah. you know? Yeah. Things need discussion. They need analysis. It, it, it's more than just like, hey, you stop eating beef, man. You know, it's, it's more than that. But I'm just wondering what the um, the, the 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 opposite effect that because you know how it is. Like, I mean, it's a pendulum swing, right? I mean, it's like uh, capitalism, and then you have that wave, the growing wave of anti-capitalist, mm. wokeism, whatever. What's going to come after that? Are, you, are we going to go back to like fascism? Are you going to have like this wave Depends. of like, we need, a, we need a unified threat. Like our kids, our kids, when they're going to be like 20, 25 years old, when they're going to be like at, at, at that age where they, they have to make decisions for themselves, are they going to be like the complete opposite of what wokeism is today? I don't know, man. but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not too sold on wokeism because there's this pattern of anti, <laughs> right? Yeah, anti yeah. this or anti that. So now the trend is wokeism. So the next phase is is it going to be like anti-wokeism and what would that i hope look, so what would that yeah but what would that look like i don't know reality or what if it's way too extreme you know you know what the biggest problem i have with wokeism and obviously like we're not defining the terms but in the in in the like, let's say in the broader sense because i find wokeism is part of a progressive movement and i don't think it's progressive at all i think progressive movements should there should be progress and just because it's in the name doesn't mean it's doing it yeah. So the biggest problem I have with today's wokeism and kind of virtual signaling is this. People today, and I'm generalizing, okay? But people today, there's a sense that caring about a problem is more important than doing something about it. Yeah. So if I care enough about a problem, I'm good. You don't care about the problem, you're bad. Yeah. And My me caring, yeah, there shit. you go. So me caring about a problem hasn't doesn't have any advantage over you not caring and not doing anything because we're both not doing anything and i find awareness is not enough it's passive aggressive yeah this level. and it, it, that's what i feel guilty but i'm not gonna do fuck up. but right. i feel guilty you have to like me because yeah. i feel guilty that's right My emotionally emotionally I'm, I'm there and, and this is this is what i said last time because i was having this conversation with somebody and this is what i told them it's like it's crazy because it's as if uh, you're in the bus there's an old lady yeah. with a cane she walks by you have the thought, 
of let me get up for her. I should get up for her and I should let her sit down because she's older. And then you don't do it, but you feel good about yourself because you had the thought. Yeah. You thought it would be nice if that younger kid would do yeah. it for her. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I think wokeism is. And then you're like, look at that asshole. He's not getting up for her. At least I thought about it. Yeah. And it's like the same thing. Like, and we could talk about this. Like, I like these topics, but they're big topics. Yeah. Too long to elucidate it in one, yeah. one podcast. But yeah. same. Th- this is with all the topics, guys. It's, yeah. it's everything. With sexism, systemic racism. It's there's buzzwords and it's like I care about it. I want to fix it, but you know what? Uh yeah, you don't care about it, you, you're bad. Yeah. And you know, the default position is obviously caring, but if you start thinking a little bit more, it's more than caring. Yeah. Like everybody wants less poverty. Yeah. But when you start thinking about the problem, you can't solve it by just taxing the rich to death. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, everyone thinks that everyone should, I don't know, have an equal opportunity. When you start analyzing the world, it doesn't seem that way. Yeah. Everybody wants to eradicate racism, but you cannot see it everywhere. You know what I mean? That, that's my problem with, 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 with these new ways of like writing memes and yeah, creating you, issues. Yeah, where yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. To, and it's just like, to create a new cause. It's like, really? You're not vegan? How dare you eat meat? It's like, man, it's going to happen. Give us some time. <laughs> some people enjoy their, their meat. It's going to happen. But give it some time. I'm not but, bad but, because I enjoy my meat. Please. But, but even if you do, who cares? Like, what, what, what's it to you? Fuck, you know? Because they feel virtuous. They feel like th- th- it's like because they feel guilty on on multiple levels. But that's what I'm saying. I'm worried about the countercurrent to that, where it's yeah, gonna be well, like, I don't know what it's gonna be. bro, you're eating cow. Go fuck yourself. Pow, right in the, like between oh, the eyes, kind of thing. Easy, easy, <laughs> easy. Oof. Uh, like, are we gonna hit like that I extreme? Hope, I hope not. No, 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 no. But you know what, man? There, there, there is, there is two things that kind of link anarchy. You can have anarcho-capitalists and you can have a real Marxist yeah, extreme yeah, yeah. that could be anarchy, meaning no no class, no law, and no cash, right? And that's it's crazy it. because that's where, you know, a lot of people say whether we you're- We don't want to go there. Because the extremes, it's the same thing. Whether you're extreme left or extreme right, yeah. it's the same thing. Yeah. It's fucking anarchy. Yeah, you have yeah. to be careful. It is. You have to be careful. And uh, you know what? Uh, I saw some kind of- decisions by uh, our uh, Quebec anyways we don't want to get into politics Quebec Premier? yeah yeah about I, I, well there's certain things where if you go too far and you know people lose certain freedoms then you, you don't get them back or if you get them back you have oh. to fight for them and now you look like you're violent oh okay yeah you're talking about the COVID uh, I'm talking about a lot of different yeah. things yeah so we have to be careful you're right it's a pendulum and once it swings this way it wants to balance and go back on the other side yeah. and people are confused right now because my people are confused because you've Too seen much information. It. No, but yeah. guys, like, the, the, and this isn't new, right? These are patterns that you've seen consistently throughout history where you have um, a right wing government that is followed by an extreme left or vice versa. They used to call it socialism, right? You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, well, and extreme then left is communism. Yeah. And then that was followed by the extreme. Uh, and then, and I'm looking at Greece, for example, where for well now it's thank god it's it's it, it seems to have dissipated but for the last 15 to 20 years you know you had you had an extreme party that was very vocal and very present and the not the last one but the one the, the two elections before that they actually elected people in the house mm-hmm. Golden Dawn. Yeah. yeah like you had like nazi uh, sympathizers sitting in the parliament yeah. people actually elected them yeah 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 well that, that's the problem with democracy right well, I'm, wait, uh, I, I'm a proponent of democracy. I'm just saying it has its, its it limits, has its right? Flaws. It has its bugs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's not a perfect system. But if you're going to allow people to vote, if people vote for them, then it's part of the democratic system. Right. Right? So what that are you was always do? the argument, democratically elected. Yeah. Yeah, because then the argument is, okay, then the party should not exist. Well, if the party should not exist, then you're not, really, uh, you're not a democracy, democracy, right? Exactly. But that's what it is. But you know what? We'll take a democracy over any other kind of form of government, whether yeah. it's totalitarianism or shit like that. Logically. Because those things have happened, and they're not far. Yeah. It could turn like this, guys. Yeah. And you know what? You know, you know Hit, why? Hitler was elected. Yeah. Chancellor, yeah. He had, he, no, he was, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was appointed chancellor because his party had become so strong in the house. Okay. Yeah. Well, it could happen anytime, man. And that's, and you know what the biggest problem is? And maybe we could, this could be another episode, but I'm just going to say this. It's dangerous times because our kids haven't been exposed to these things. 
So they don't have a benchmark. They don't have a reference to what bad is. But, but so Chris, because yeah, but were you exposed to these things? You weren't either. We weren't exposed to extremism. No, but I've I, I heard I, my grandfather tell me I heard, stories yeah, of yeah. war, man. That's I heard my grandfather. My kids things. are never gonna hear my grandfather. You're right. I wasn't stories. exposed, but I heard. I yeah, listened. No, yeah. There were stories. Our, our our dad's eight. My dad was born in what forty one. Uh, Greece was was fucking completely occupied at the time. Yeah. People like when he was a, a kid, he grew up. Of, he grew up in post war Greece, where yeah, depression. People were he was eating bread. Civil war, and yeah. those neighbors eating yeah, we crumbs heard off story. people eating crumbs off his feet yeah. while he's eating his bread, and he couldn't share it because he wouldn't be happy. Yeah, 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 we heard that. I, I'm talking about the antithetical situation where a young person blames capitalism for everything, and he's Doesn't sitting there the in his is. comfort of everything that capitalism has afforded. Has provided him. Them. That's what's crazy. Yeah. You know what? It's it's not somebody like yeah. There they are the socialists, and you know what? They they have the right to think whatever they want, and there's 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 some there's some idea behind that, and I get it. There's some compassion, and there's like a vision, and you know what? It's maybe not an, a stupid idea to think that one day the world could be that kind of place, but you know what? It's like today, like man, you're shitting on capital. I got I got a T-shirt. I'm gonna wear it next time. It says it's okay to be a capitalist mm. because people are just shitting on it, and it's like how can you shit on that? Yeah. You know what? There's there's one thing to say. Oh, let's make it a bit better. Let's reform it. Yeah. Let's see. Let's tweak it. Let's tweak it. And let's, it's another thing to say: eradicate this whole right. system and bring this other system that we know in because the last. People have emotional, strong yeah. emotions about it. In the last hundred years, it's like a hundred million corpses. Yeah. You know that's what bugs me. That's why I got the t-shirt. You know why I got the t-shirt? Because I saw one of my students wearing a hammer and sickle. Yeah. And he was maybe twenty three. So I'm thinking, you're twenty three years old. You have no idea what's Man, hiding behind that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's what you're wearing. But at the same time, Chris, it's also a fashion statement today. People don't understand. It's like, uh, you know, che, che Guevara has become a fashion icon. Now you put that on your shirt, and well, they don't, they I'm don't not going to go as far as saying that kid was doing it because of a fashion statement. I'm sure he had his information. Yeah, it's just he got it presented to him in a way that made him. Yeah. Feel strong for it, and he goes, "I'm going to go wear this yeah. T-shirt," but he doesn't realize the whole thing. You know? But at the same time, but and this, you know, we don't have to go there either. But I remember studying in university, and in general, academia is much more positioned to the left. Oh, absolutely. So you know, what I mean, you get you get sucked into it. Like I remember having posters of Che Guevara because it was like the, the, that whole romanticism of you know that hero and all that crap. And then when you when you hit the workforce, you're like, "What? Yeah, yeah. this has nothing to do." Well, not only workforce reality. Yeah, reality. yeah, 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 yeah. And there's people like I remember. Look, one of my favorites, uh, Maradona. Yeah. He has a, uh, 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 the tattoo. a, a tattoo of, of, of Che. But that's because he's Argentinian and there's a whole history yeah, there and all that. In yeah. Che's world, Maradona wouldn't make millions playing soccer. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. When you yeah. put things in perspective. Well, you would have to play a soccer game and then go work somewhere. I get it. I get it. You have him here. But think about it. If, he, if his ideological world came into place... You wouldn't be making money kicking this ball. <laughs> That's so true. So it's like, you, where's the value? So yeah, it, it has become like a trend, and it's a trend that never pretty much died. And you know what? Che Guevara himself, if he resurrected and came to life and saw what they're doing with this portrait, he'd freak out because that's capitalism yeah that's he's true selling with his face <laughs> himself he'd be like guys what's this you've commercialized my face <laughs> this wasn't the point yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you know but it, it's a confused world that's a funny funny point <laughs> it's a confused isn't, world isn't crazy i'm just wondering if the photographer that took that picture that has become uh, so popular if that guy uh, he's probably dead now but is his family reaping the benefits of those i don't know man but you need a little capitalism you know what? Think about it. That picture has made it everywhere. No, think about this. Who's the father of, of communism? Karl Marx. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah. Karl Marx. Yeah. The Communist Manifesto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Written in 1850. Karl Marx wouldn't be able to publish the, the manifesto if it wasn't for Engels, which was his rich friend. <laughs> and I, Engels believed in it too. Yeah. No, but what I'm saying is it took his rich friend to help right, him yeah. write the book. Even the even those ideas are against capitalism had to come through capital. Uh, yeah, different times. We're not going to get times. in there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this, at the this time, could, this could be. Yeah, way. at the time when Karl Marx wrote the, the Communist Manifesto, there, there, there was some purpose behind. Absolutely, uh, you know, freeing the proletariat. You know what I mean? The, yeah. the, the way he people described. Got screwed, man. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, people, they needed to be. On. They needed they to needed, be liberated from the control uh, of which own, they were under. You either owned the factory or you worked for it. 
Yeah, and if yeah. and if you worked for it, you could be starved. Yeah. So yeah, it was a very utopian idea, and like, see, that's that's the thing, man. No, I, but you, you know what? Look, I'm I'm capitalist. I believe in capitalism. Yes, it needs to be reformed, but I believe in in free markets. I believe that goods and services should come from the, the private sector. Public should be limited. Whatever. Let's say that's my position, and I, I could go a little bit left and I go a little bit right on different social issues. <coughs> what was I saying? I don't know. You believe in capitalist? Yeah, we well, talking, exactly. Yeah. That's what I wanted to say. So when you contextualize Marx, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah that's what And I'm you saying. know what? You're glad. I'm glad the experiment happened. I'm glad that people tried it. But a lot, it's not one country that tried it. No. It's, it's 15, 20 countries that tried and failed. Dude, all the, the eastern yeah. planet. <laughs> and all it. the ones that still have it are failed systems. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that, good, we tried it. The experiment failed. All right. I'm... I have the problem with today, the arrogant new communists that say, no, 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 no. It hasn't happened the proper way. You know what I mean? That's where the problem is. Look, like, they, they don't want to accept that human nature does not allow it yeah, to work. Exactly. Man. They don't want to accept the defeat. Like you were saying, your daughter's competitive. You can't eliminate that. No. That's that's where the problems come. But look, you, you, like you said, it's important to contextualize it, but you also have to recognize certain successes that have been influenced by those movements, which is like the, you know this whole social movement. About and Canada is the best example of you social know, democracy. Like, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Such a again, is it perfect? Is it not perfect? Uh, is are yeah, we? But, are but we, it's not socialism. It's capitalism. It can't. It can't. It's free it can't, markets. It came from socialist ideas to take care of. The person sitting next to you to make sure that there's unions representing you to make sure that you have some yeah, sort of yeah, yeah. welfare system that we take exists. Take care of our children. We take care of our old, and we can take care of our poor. That's you know what, what I mean? It is. So, so there mm -hmm. are some, but it has to be blended into a system that works in order economy. to provide that. It has you to understand? be a mixed economy. Yeah. yeah, it can't. It can't be just socialism. It can't be everything. But all, all the means of productions belong to the government. Yeah, it cannot be that way no. because capitalism produces wealth. And socialism only knows how to distribute it, right? Like, yeah. think about it. Let's say you start with a planned economy, like a lot of these people believe. Who creates the wealth? The business. No, first they go steal them in taxes, right? And when you run out, when you run out of people oh, okay, to tax, okay, yeah, okay, what are you okay. doing? Well, what are you going to run out of money? What do you do? Yeah, yeah. yeah you go yeah. tax the rich, tax the rich. There's no more rich people to tax. What do we do? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and this tax the rich sounds good. Because people, because it's called, it's because it's jealousy. Well, it is jealousy. We're, we're, we're envious. We, 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 we're mad at them for it. But that's know? what I'm saying. It is jealousy. And you know what? If you think about it, even Marx, when he wrote it, <clears throat> it was jealousy and it was hate. It was, it was, it was something was a little resentment. bit evil, masquerading as compassion. Yeah. And and you know what? We tried it. We tried it. So I, I'd rather hear conversations like, okay, how can we fix capitalism? How can we instead of like. Man, we need to like a lot of people are saying, yeah. The, the, anyways, look, we could uh, bring somebody in debate, but uh, I have I might have somebody for that. Yeah, me yeah, too. He's not a parent. Me too, and it, it's good. It's good. He's not a parent, so the perspective might be a little different. Oh yeah, yeah. But he's very he's very well versed in that. He's he's gone from uh, being the Che guy to not believing it anymore, but still has a very strong social conscience. Right. I No, but I think that's good. Yeah. Having a social conscience is good. Yeah, yeah. No, I think not only is it good, I think it's important because you have people in society that depend a lot on the help provided either by the state and obviously the state makes it because of you know, taxes. Maybe, taxes. I might see him tomorrow. I won't ask him. Yeah, we'll sure, man. We'll him. He's very look, well these, these, very this well. is good because look, uh, I'm yeah, obviously... And where did he get turned? Where's the country that's still romantic about this fucking uh, communist uh, yeah. Cuba? No, where Greece? Oh, Greece, yeah, Greek, romantic Greek. movements. Yeah, always yeah, be there. yeah. Greece has a communist nostalgia. Yeah. They wanted to be with Stalin, and then uh, Churchill came in and and, and it ruined it. It, it. it divided the country in two. So people still think like, man, even though it devastated every other country around Greece, Greece is like, ah, man, I didn't come here. And it didn't. It, it almost did. It, 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 it did. My, my Don't forget the, 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 the civil war, bro. That, that's what my it was. was that's that what war. it was. I mean, that's what made it not happen. Yeah. The civil war. If no. there was no civil war, it could have happened. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny how we went from uh, giving, you know, giving your kid a key to <laughs> analyzing <laughs> Karl Marx. Spirit of car competition. <laughs> no, because these are these are because you know what how we linked it because yeah. you said academically, and you're right in academia. I think. I would go as far Nine, as to say ninety percent. Ninety percent yeah, yeah, are yeah. left, yeah. right? Because it's a very theoretical world. Yeah. So a lot of people like to be in theory and theory, but then when they land on Earth, yeah. 
and there's practical components, it's like, oh, well, this stuff doesn't work. So it has to be. Like people who, who scream at me. And even worse, it's the Hollywood guys that want the capitalism. Like you got paid $30 million for a movie and you're against capitalism. I don't get it. That that has <laughs> what, 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 you drive, got paid, what, what is your wait, You got paid $30 million to pretend you're something you're not. Yeah. You you had fun. You pretended you were something you were not. To, play in, to act out in a play. That's right. You know? Yeah. So th these things bug me. I see through them. Yeah. They, they annoy me a bit, man. You know, it's like, come on, really? You really, like, you're against capitalism? Really? Do you really? Uh, <laughs> while they're playing on their iPhone and drinking up a Starbucks. Uh, messed up. Anyway, let's end that one over there, guys. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Again, head on over to YouTube, subscribe. Please help our channel grow. Uh, you can catch every single episode on every single audio platform. If you do happen to listen to an Apple podcast, make sure to Uh, rate it, give us some stars, comment on it. Uh, I don't know. Let us know if uh, if uh, if you're listening to it, where you're listening to it. Uh, we do appreciate it. We will see you all in the next episode. Imagine a communist fucking upbringing for fucking uh, Maradona. Don't this la pelota? <laughs> we have to use it for something else. <laughs> <laughs>